there's always been sexual harassment out in the fields, but now it's on an increase. Siempre hay, siempre hay hombres que, que molestan a las mujeres, siempre hay dos o tres en cada trabajo, en cada trabajo. Women are able to go out and say, I have this issue with this boss or this supervisor. A veces le dicen a la mujer, si tú no te dejas hacer esto o si tú no andas conmigo, yo ya no te voy a dar trabajo. You see those abusive uh, supervisors that will tell female farm workers, if uh, you do this favor for me, I'll give you better housing. A house that has a shower and a running toilet. I'll give work to your entire family if you do this favor for me. Con acosos que que me pide que tenga relaciones con él y que siempre me anda diciendo que tengo que hacer lo que él dice y no perder en mi trabajo. Entonces yo tengo que callar aunque esa persona me siga molestando en el trabajo. So the Vandana Project started, I believe, in the Midwest. Um, and it's been going on around the country. It's art as a healing tool for uh, women that don't have the money to go to a counselor or to go to a psychiatrist. What I found interesting about it was the fact that um, something so simple as a piece of cloth can be used to um, heal the soul. I started with a group of uh, farm worker women and immediately uh, they, uh, I saw the benefit. One time, this woman stayed and stayed and stayed after the meeting, and then she comes up to me and she asked me for four bandanas. She rode and rode and rode on both sides of each bandana. On the last bandana, she drew one big, ugly monster face and said, uh, that's the abuser, that's the one that's been, you know, abusing me every day uh, at work, humiliating me. She kept saying that over and over. She had had a horrible situation out in the field and it was eating her up. Women tend to keep it within and not talk about it. And instead of getting better, they get worse and worse and worse. The Vendana Project was something that allowed them to express it, to talk about it. And through discourse, that's where you find solutions, where you find um, self-esteem, where you find confidence. I have seen the growth development in her from how she was at the beginning to how she is now. It's amazing. Her self-esteem is uh, so high because of that. She came forth and filed a lawsuit against that abuser. She won her lawsuit and she got the strength because of the Bandana Project. I regard her as a very brave woman.